Regarding my academic career, I, uh, I started in Honduras. I did my bachelor's in computer science. Then afterwards, I worked as a software engineer for a year at a bank. And I decided I want to do more, more theoretical things or to do more uh, academic work. And uh, since I also like traveling, I went for a master's to Taiwan. Right after that, I found a PhD opportunity in, in Brussels. And uh, I did my PhD there. Uh, afterwards, I moved to Oxford for a year. And then I eventually made it here to Antwerp. My base community is uh, computer-aided verification. So this, this is an umbrella term for this combination of theoretical work with uh, applications that we want uh, for ver verifying something with the use of a computer. Let me call them cyber-physical systems. And what I want to do with this object is to make sure that it is safe. So you would like to know um, uh, if, a, if a car is stopping. You want to be able to say that if, if a human being, say, touches the brake pedal, then within a few seconds, the car will stop. And this is something that you can formally specify. And uh, if you are given a model, um, a formal model of the brake system itself, then you will be able to, to build a, an algorithm that tells you, yes, no, this particular ABS system in this car satisfies this specification. But then there's also this practical side in which once you have the models, you want to build tools such that an engineer will just press a button if he's given some system and the machine will be able to say yes, no. It satisfies the specification or it doesn't satisfy the specification. And this is like the end goal. So on, on a usual workday, I, I would say I spend half my time on a notebook or on the board, trying to figure out some, like I said, some of the theoretical parts of my work. Um, but uh, I also spend a lot of time coding. And uh, so we do want to have these tools in the end, these verification tools. But I also do other things. I've gotten into wine tasting in recent years, also beer tasting. I have a few friends who brew their own beers and I've enjoyed doing like personal workshops with them and brewing uh, some beer with them. We even have our own special brew that's called the Guillermo brew. <laughs> and uh, in, in recent days, I've also gotten a lot into coffee making. So I like having really good espresso. So creamy espresso that tastes more like on the chocolatey side and looking for uh, good roasteries and good places to eat and drink is like the, the, the thing I'm focusing on at the moment when I travel. One of the things that we have developed in verification is if you want a model to do something, then you can actually synthesize uh, a way for the, for the system to do it. So what we have done here on the right side is that we have asked Pac-Man to never get eaten by this single ghost. And we have done this from the beginning. On the left side, uh, you're applying some off-the-shelf uh, learning tool, which is learning through the score that it gets, whether it is good or bad to get eaten and how to collect the pearls. Whereas on the right side, from the very beginning, you, you were avoiding the ghost and now it's getting really, really intelligent in how to collect the pearls. So it, it improves by, I would say, uh, 10 times the, uh, the, uh, the speed of learning of these algorithms. And no one really understands yet why this happens. But at the very least, we can say that this guarantees you never get eaten. So this is the kind of thing I like. You have a strong guarantee. <laughs>